I got back just in time to hear somebody die, so I'm going to load up before I went away because that's not cool. Um, yeah. I hope it's not too loud. There's uh, doing some construction, I think, on the, um, on the tr railways. Hey, Spitfire, are you going to make me burn? Spitfire does not like to save up his points or her points. There you go. I don't judge. If I call you the wrong gender, it's not intentional. Let me know if it bothers you. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You do not save any points. <laughs> All right, we're still doing curls because it's too hot for anything else. You could care less, but you're a guy. <laughs> I'm kind of the same way. Like I've been a gamer for over 10 years. It's like, I'm just used to be calling, being called he if I'm just in text. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's actually getting easier too. That's awesome. And Spitfire, it's likely entirely because of you. So thank you. <laughs> To be fair, you were attempted to immediately get me to burn when you joined. Instead, you just bought all the amounts. <laughs> Actually, so me and Mux have decided that um, what we're going to do for our anniversary for each other and for ourselves is we're going to try and get back in shape again. So I think the, the burn does have a cooldown, but I might actually loo it. Uh, lower it so now I've been intending to get back in shape for a very long time the problem is just that every time I set myself to doing it something happened so I was gonna start and then I got my shot and my arm felt like it was gonna fall off for three days um, so that was a thing To say it might be five minutes. Let me check. If it's longer than ten, I will adjust it down to ten for make Kitty burn because ten is actually pretty good for that in between. There we go. I put it down to five minutes for you guys. Why not? Let's make it so that my arms are massive. Actually, I will sometimes do squats as well, but right now it is too hot for squats. So I'm doing curls. All right. Uh, if I want some motivation, you went from 260 to 150 in a year. Um, for me, so, I've talked about this a little bit on stream. For me, the big problem, um, with weight loss isn't, um, like, it's not eating too much or anything like that. It's actually eating too little. As odd as that's gonna sound. Um, I get mood-induced eating disorders, so when things were really bad a few years ago, Um, when things got really bad a few years ago, um, this was kind of before Mux and about the time that I started talking to Mux, uh, I was unable to keep anything down. And I mean, the only way I could eat anything would be to pretty much just have chocolate milk or mashed potatoes, which are considered comfort foods. 
And even then, I was probably averaging this food that actually got kept down. I was probably averaging less than 500 calories a day actually going into my blood. Blood system. Actually, Spitfire, that's not true. That is not true. You actually burn more heat in the cold because your body just burns random calories in order to produce heat. Whereas if it's hot, your body will actually shut down as much as it can because burning calories literally is like burning inside of your body, so it creates heat. So in order to create less heat, your body will burn less calories. But my metabolism in general is just shit right now because of those times where I was unable to eat properly. Um, so that's kind of what I've been trying to work on during this lockdown. So you guys have noticed like I've been, yeah, you can sweat water off, but that's just your water weight, right? So the best way to, for me, like I said, the problem is my metabolism. So one reason why I actually love it so much when you guys use Make Kitty Burn is pretty much one of the, there's only really two ways to increase your metabolism. Um, the one, you guys will notice that I will often snack on stream. Um, I apologize if this bothers anybody, but regular small amounts of eating is one way to fix your metabolism. You just know somebody who went running with five jumpers on because he was miseducated. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, you will actually lose more weight, more weight, um, like exercising in the cold because your body will generate more heat, which is literally burning the calories um, in order to try and stay warm. But yeah, so one way is by eating regularly. That's one way to try and increase your metabolism. But the only other way really is um, building muscle mass because muscle burns more than fat. It takes more muscle. Oh, we should get this one on the other. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to these guys and we're gonna try and get things stabilized enough on the other one to bring this guy in. Because farming and ranching, we need more farmers over there. No, I'm just gonna reject. I'm just gonna reject. We can always get more. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of like the big thing is I need to build my muscle and try to keep eating regularly. Which, I mean, a few days right now because of the heat of not eating as much shouldn't be a problem. Like, if you don't eat regularly for like a few days or even like a month, it's not gonna cause any like real issues. The problem is that I went with a net of like 500 calories for probably close to a year. So essentially, my body said, no, we can't, we can't burn anything. We have to just store it all up because we're not going to get food anymore. Pretty much what my body is saying, so. But, my goal is, so starting tomorrow, it's supposed to cool down a lot. So I'm going to try and start doing a lot more exercise. And I'm going to try and get to the point where I'm doing it early enough that if it does heat up, I can just go and do something outside in the morning when it's still cool. So. The famine effect of weight. Let's store everything and kill your metabolism. That's that's pretty much what happens. And it takes a lot longer to get there than people, f like, than, like, a lot of people think is happening. So, like, again, like, doing it for, like, a couple of weeks to, like, even, like, a month or two isn't really going to do too much. But, yeah, if it does go on for, like, a prolonged period, which is unfortunately what happened with me, then, yeah, eventually you're going to see your, like, your body's just going to save everything, right? Because it needs to make sure you don't die. <laughs> it's pretty much all it focuses on. Okay, this is going good. Okay, so this should start stabilizing a little bit better. I need to get rid of this water, but I don't know where to put it. I mean, I guess I could just, instead of going that way, I could just go this way.
Yeah, so that's that's another thing. Like, there, there's ways to, like, do micro-boosts to your metabolism um, just through eating habits. So one is uh, you eat in the morning because that kind of gets your metabolism started. So eating breakfast is really important. And if, if anybody's actually a nutritionalist and I'm getting anything wrong, please let me know. I took uh, a couple of university-level nutrition courses, but I'm by no means an expert, so please take what I say with a grain of salt. Um... But to the best of my, this is the information to the best of my knowledge. Uh, eating in the morning helps to kind of jumpstart your metabolism and let your, uh, so that, like, I like to think of it as it's letting your body know that food is coming throughout the day. Let's get, let's get going. Kind of thing. Um, it's also bad if you're looking to lose weight to eat. Uh, in the evening. So usually I actually try not to eat anything after six o'clock. Uh, if I get really hungry or I miss dinner for some reason, because like, let's say like right now, it's so freaking hot. I just don't even get hungry. I will like let myself have a small snack or a chocolate milk or a glass of regular milk or something like that in the evening. But typically aside from like special occasions, or if I'm out, I try not to eat at all after six o'clock because the idea is, be, is that one, it can help, it makes it so that you don't sleep as well because your body actually does have to work to burn calories. So if you're trying to do that while you're sleeping, you're not gonna sleep as well because your body's not gonna be able to shut down as much as it would otherwise. How's our oxygen? Okay, we do st currently still have a net positive oxygen generation here, so that's good. Um, we might be able to bring somebody else in, but we'll have to wait and see until, like, everything's, like, completely full. Um, where was I? Uh, don't eat before bed, because your body essentially just starts... Like, you won't sleep as well, and your body will just store everything because you're not doing anything. Those are some other small ways. The other one is just to boost your muscle mass. So that's kind of what, that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. So I do some uh, cardio, but for me, I don't lose weight really with cardio unless I push really hard. And I mean really hard. Um, back when I was in university, I was losing weight doing running, but I would do interval training and I would legit run, um, and try to keep an average heart rate. Like my, my heart rate would like peak at 200 and I honestly wasn't even entirely sure that my Fitbit could read higher than that. <laughs> so cardio at the moment, at least for me, isn't really as good of a way for me to lose weight. So I'm gonna try and focus probably more on, like I'm gonna do some cardio. Like I do my walks and my hikes and stuff at lunch. Um, and all that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna try doing my weights and core exercises a lot more. That's what I'm gonna need to start focusing on. Next, actually starting tomorrow. I wanna get this open, cause this carbon dioxide will go down and these guys will eat it. Cardio is good to keep the heart healthy. Well, and that's like, I do wanna do cardio as well, because I do need to just get in better fitness shape. Well, and it's, so it actually, um, so like just to feed your muscles, to keep them alive, takes more energy than it does to feed uh, fat. So maintaining muscle mass just takes more calories. So it will increase, it increases your metabolism that way. Okay, so these guys are doing better with food now. We'll probably let them just kind of keep working on this. I need to get this going too. Um, so let's see, what can we do here? I'm gonna do a double layer of insulated tile here.
do one layer first. And then we'll do the second layer. So I'm trying to do a double wall of insulated tile. Um, or I could do my... I'm just trying to think. Because I had, I came up with a new strategy for isolating heat. And you, you create a vacuum around the area that you need to isolate. Unless you're using this stuff here. So I might try to do, th I wonder if I should do that here. I think that's what we have to try and start working on is what does warts need for they need phosphorus I don't currently have any phosphorus here I don't think like at all this for power eventually as well, if we want. Are you sure this was sulfur? Yes. Food is starting to look a lot better here. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna tell these guys not to eat the raw shit. So it's gonna help with their stress as well. we go. Okay. I might have an idea. Let's bring the Drekos here. get reed fibers, but I could get we could at least farm glossy droplets for uh, phosphorite for the weed wart. starting to okay yeah they're starting to consume more oxygen than I'm producing which means I need to comet leave them alone what are you doing even the cats are getting lazy because it's hot okay, and that's dormant that's why the other ones are kicking in but that's why we have the kept the backup coal power. I do want to analyze this. I want to try and get it.
Okay, good. So yeah, so some of our carbon dioxide should now be sinking down there, which means that we can keep the the slicksters alive, so that we can use them for oil instead of having to worry about the. He's starving. any food, let's get it put away so that the hashes don't eat it. Oxygen production long term here is going to potentially be a problem. I have to figure out what we're going to do about it. I haven't seen any meteor showers either. So I don't know if they're not a thing anymore or if they just don't happen on the smaller asteroids or what. Um. Okay. I'm gonna actually priority nine these. Eh, seven, let's do seven. A little higher than everything else. Good, perfect. Awesome. Now that I've said that, mega meteor shower. solid filter or a conveyor filter can I even learn it oh I can't even learn it yet it's kind of annoying that I need this much just to get that So the other option would be I could do, I'm just trying to think to reduce the amount of, If I put the bridge before there, it will prioritize the bridge, and I don't want to do that. And then, so what we'll do is then we'll have this pick up dirt as well.
eventually I'll put a filter on it and I'll have the dirt go up to the meal ice and then over here as well, but... I might even try to do the meal ice soon too. is what we need. Um, just so that literally everybody can ranch if they run out of other shit to do. That's my plan. Ranching and farming. If they run out of other stuff, they can ranch and farm. We can improve the strength too so that um, supply stuff gets done quicker. Sometimes at like wave a plus oxygen, so and I do see that somebody did follow me. Thank you so much for that follow. I apologize if I miss your notification. Um, usually, I do have my uh, my headset on, and that is where my notifications go. But right now, because of the heat, I'm just kind of keeping my headset off as much as possible. The comment. I think it's too hot. I don't think anybody wants to play right now. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm just gonna... Kill those hatches so that they stop eating my meal lice. But this should eventually get leveled off. Give you a comment, you'll take care of them? Never. I don't know if you did you see the did you see the uh, the post that I posted on Twitter of him? I was trying to figure out why my mint hadn't sprouted yet. I've since kind of covered it up with a blast, clear plastic container, so I'm hoping it'll still sprout. But oh my gosh. Penguins come to say hi though. Right, Penguin? Yeah. What do we have? This one's Penguin. Right, Penguin? Yeah. You've got penguin pickles and gomet. Yeah. I don't think I need any of these. You love penguin, protect at all costs. <laughs> penguin is our high emote. Penguin is our high emote. 
<laughs> you like cats, but you're allergic to them? I wouldn't be surprised if I am, but I don't care. Right, Penguin? Right? Yeah. Just so you guys can see, she doesn't actually leave when she leaves like that. She just sits here and still wants attention. Comet! You wanna come say hi? Comet! No, he's playing with the scratching post. Eardrums. Where's the pressure too high? Up here. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna enable this again. Construct that. What is it, Penguin? So that we can just pump some oxygen out this way. Because if this is that high, we might be able to, like, this polluted water will create oxygen, which we can also pump through our base. Yeah. What? Every time I take my hand away, she like reaches out to grab me. Actually, cancel that. We'll leave that. And I will still output some here. That's what the pressure is, is this up here is creating so much pressure because of all of the oxygen that's being made by this. So yeah, I think we can bring in another rancher if we see one. Because that's going to create a lot of oxygen for us. At least some. Well, that's the thing, it's like... If she wants attention, she can sit here. Yes, if you want attention, you sit here, okay? And she'll do it for a while. I mean, it would be better if she would sit on my lap, but... We really need to try and figure out how to start farming that sulfur.
I wish that would actually select me. You know what? I'm gonna make her priority higher for ranching than for farming. Yeah. Let's get this enabled so we can start pumping this air out. Our food situation is looking a lot better. Um, so what I'm gonna do is... Where's our cinder? The receiver. This is the sender. So it's enabled on this side, which means we need to get somebody with researching on this side. It's gonna have to be this one. Because if we can get this one activated, then we can send the food over here. got one layer there. Do a double layer. Because the idea is going to be that I want to try to cool it down rather than just keep the heat from escaping. So we just want the heat to escape slowly so we can try to cool the area down before Ideally, I'll need more wheeze warts, but oh, I can always ship them out. Yes, if we get the shipping going, we can ship wheeze warts out as well. Like the seeds. This one could actually, this one might not be bad actually. Okay, we'll take this one. So we can get more ranchers.
And that'll be it for a while, I think. Let me, priorities. Where's the new dude? He won't be able to ranch yet, but we can get him there quick. There's the field research. Oh shit, I should have gone with ranching so that we could have ranched the other guys. Damn it. make a bunch of batteries. I know that's not really a ton, but it's a start. Better than what we had. I'll probably do rust oxygen over here. I just don't know what I'm gonna do with the chlorine. I don't have any puffs or anything. Stop analyzing, get out of there. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> back here for a reason and I hang on. Don't push escape. Why you push escape? Me? Um hang on. Stop. It's cause my hand is resting there, so she's trying to get attention. Um I think I just came back for that.
Not thermally reactive, though. This one. I'm still gonna do a double layer, but we gotta do one first. And then essentially what I'll probably do is I'll probably then do farm plots up here and try to get plant a wheeze word up here. I'll probably convert this down to a regular tile so we can close this off and create a um, penguin. Hi. I know it's hot. But that's perfect, yes. Penguin. What are you doing? She just wants attention. So bad right now. But she won't like sit on my on my lap or on my I think what I'd have to do with the chlorine is probably canister it. Once we get this activated, we can start sending food here. But that'll also let me make sure that I get this here full enough. I need more solar. Okay, Penguin, I need my foot, my hand. Oxygen going through again. Okay, it's gonna be dirt. What, at this rate, I could probably have dirt go into here as well. Hey, true final boss! How you doing? We might even be able to get rid of the meal ice entirely and just do this with, um, with these once we get our sulfur kind of fixed up. Too bad. Things are half decent nowadays with uh, me being able to stream full time for the time being. tried this game a couple times, but you usually end up dying. 
My first few colonies actually, like, suffered pretty badly. Um, once I started kind of working with automation and shipping... Penguin, stop. Uh, it started going a little smoother. Keyword a little. Do I want to get max strength? Um, so we'll give him construction. I'm by no means, like, good at this game, but I'm starting to kind of get better a little bit. definitely does take some like like there's definitely a huge learning curve that's for sure get something semi-stable going um, without worrying too much. Too much air pressure. Yeah, that's kind of like we were running into that a little bit. Did you I see that? I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Uh, once I just make sure. Um, really, the only way to fix that is to vent some of it into space. So, I've done that before. Uh, you also need to get something that'll suck the carbon dioxide out. So that's the big thing, is you need to get carbon dioxide removal as much as you need to get, um, oxygen production. Because otherwise the, ox the carbon dioxide will just soak up, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10. It's definitely getting easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With the right arm, at least. <sighs> Vent into space, lowers heat as well as oxygen, gets ripped out. <laughs> uh, I'm up to 15 pounds on the curls now. I used to do just 10, but I upped it to 15 because I felt like 10 was too easy. If it doesn't almost get too hard by the end, then you're not burning enough to... Um... Like, you're not actually going to increase your... Your, uh, your capacity. Our sulfur is way too low. I'm working on fixing that permanently, but for the time being... Okay, so this is good now. So we can start 
shipping some of our food out. We need to make sure there's a deodorizer in here too. If we have polluted oxygen in here, it's going to make the food go bad faster. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a auto sweeper that's gonna cover this. Do a conveyor loader. And then I will split off the belt. And we'll have the food come up here. I don't even really need half of it coming up here, but I... There's only one other way to do it. This... To... There's like only other, one other... There's another way that I can do it. But I need a little bit more stuff to make that work. We need like a conveyor switch. I don't know if that's a thing. We decided it was a good idea to make an asteroid colony. There actually is a little bit of story to this. Um, you have to read, like, you have to, like, inspect all of these and read them. I've never really done that too much. But I think the idea is that there was a big, um, like, science dealie going on. And some big shit went down. And it essentially all exploded. I think is the gist of it. At least that's the gist of what I've ever gotten out of it. That said, it is largely a sandbox game, so. The story is definitely a back burner thing. Penguin is like sleeping on my desk right now. how much is on there when it's done. I, I need a couple more tables in here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I need two more tables in here. Okay, better. much much better this is what we need to get going now um so i still need to try and figure out how to cool down this water though idea. 
could do a closed system, like a system that's eventually going to be closed, and just have it where it keeps circling until the water is cold enough, and then it goes out to cool down the area. I need to check my research, though. Okay, yeah, because we do have the thermal sensors. Um, and I've got the shutoff valve. Yeah. Okay. This could work. This could work. Okay. In theory. I don't know if it actually will work, but... temperatures. Like this one. No, I honestly have no idea if this is going to work. I'll put these wart seeds in here. And then eventually I'll probably do even more. Essentially, this is a liquid sulfur f um, geyser, so I need to farm this so that I can... Hang on. She keeps pushing buttons uh, so that we can get sulfur for the other base. Penguin! Do you want to play? Do you want to play the game? Is that what this is? Do you want to play the game? Do 
omelets too. I have to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm really I don't want this. I think the only way would be to use incubators. I might throw some incubators in here. Oh, that's what the noise is upstairs. Energy is on this line. Okay, I should probably get the holes in there. 